everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have a get ready with me video but this time I'm just getting ready to film and I, f I think I saw I think it was Samantha Marie beauty crush also known as beauty crush I love her videos um, I saw her do it so I thought let me do it as well I'll link hers in the info box if I can find it but yeah it's definitely different to what I usually do um, but I hope you will enjoy it anyways and I'll just jump straight into it so the first thing that I'm gonna use is the body shop skin defense I have really been enjoying using this, it's super lightweight. Now I'm going to use the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm which looks like this. This also has SPF but the Body Shop is a bigger one, it has SPF 50 so that obviously will work, protect my skin. Now I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Concealer, this is the photo focus concealer and I've heard so many good things about this and I have actually tried it already and there was probably a review by now on it so I'll leave a link in the info box but this is really good so what I'm going to do this is in the shade medium deep tan and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that all in place these concealers are actually really good at giving minimum, minimal creasing. It gives, with me, it gives minimal to no creasing at all. I'm then going to use my Nip and Fab eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use the shade Swabe, this colour right here. I'm now going to use this month's deck of scarlet edition I would say and this is what it looks like this month I already have a video on one of these um, it was on the one that was two months ago so what they do is they have like a they make a palette every two months and you pay like $30 um, every two months for a palette and like some extra bits so this month you have an eyeliner with it and last month they did like a chubby lip pencil kind of thing but I will link that uh, video in the info box if you guys want to check that video out and see what that palette looks like this month the artist in chief is Nazanin Kavari this is what she looks like it's this lady here she's a youtuber so what they do is collaborate with like youtubers or beauty bloggers and they make a palette um, every two months so I think that's really cool um, so I'm going to show you what this month looks like and I'm really sorry if I said her name wrong so the palette comes with like a slip so you kind of just pull the slip off. This palette looks so good. And this is what the packaging is really good. And then you just lift up the lip side and you lift up the powder side. And it does come with a mirror. Here's a close up of the palette. It's so cool. And then you also get an eyeliner, which is like a felt tip super thin eyeliner which I'll be using as well oh and they're also cruelty free you can cancel any time and um, you can buy the previous palettes if you want and it kind of creates a deck so the first color I'm going to take is this peachy color right here this color is called feeling peachy and I normally don't put shimmer colors in the crease but I think for this look I can so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blend this into my crease the shimmer is not too harsh so it kind of actually does work but what I'm going to do is really define the crease with a bright colour. And then I'm going to put the brown all over. I'm going to take this colour right here, which is Taj. I'm then going to take a bit of the blusher, baby doll. So that's the eyeliner done. 
I'm going to use the saturated um, colour mascara. Everything will be linked in the info box by the way. I'm applying a quick coat because I'm going to be putting some lashes on. The lashes that I'm going to wear today are the Classy Lashes in Vera. The lash glue that I really like and I know that I can depend on is the uh, Revlon Precision Clear Lash Glue which was recommended by Skin Face Beauty. Look at the difference that makes. By the way, I put some of the eyeliner on my hand and it's actually pretty hard to get off. I need to really rub the makeup wipe on it. These tweezer things for lashes were sent to me by Classy Lashes and I'm just going to use them to kind of like press my lashes together. It's actually really handy and it makes the lashes like more comfortable to wear. I'm just going to quickly go over the lash band with the eyeliner. Okay, now on to skin. I'm going to use the NYX um, Total Control Drop Foundation. I'm really sorry if I keep using this, but seriously, like I've really been enjoying using it. I feel like it makes my skin look so nice. Blend it. It just like blends into nothing. And even though it's got good coverage, it feels really, really lightweight. I'm now going to use some of my Bobbi Brown Instant Cover Concealer in Warm Honey. And I'm just going to apply this around my mouth area. Just going to blend that out. Uh, I really like this concealer around my mouth. Even though it's a bit lighter. Why does it look weird on camera? But even though it's a bit lighter, it doesn't. It just covers the pigmentation a bit. For the concealer, I'm going to go back in with my Wet n Wild Fo Photo Focus Concealer. Again, this is in the shade Medium Deep Tan. I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. The colour is like not too bright. Just highlight some areas of my face. It's just so easy to work with and it, I can't believe the price. I'm just going to take some of my Smashbox Primer Water with, on my beauty blender because I can't be bothered to dampen it. Who else does that? Because literally I do that almost every day because I can't be bothered to go wet it and I've already started my makeup. Now I'm going to use some of my Kat Von D loose setting powder and I'm just going to bake really close to the eye. This actually helps to brighten the concealer because it's not too light light. I know this looks weird but trust me it does look good after all. I don't keep it too long and I, whatever's left with on the brush I just sweep it all over my face. really concentrating on the center lately i've really been enjoying using the bobby brown bronzer and i use this kabuki brush kind of thing that i got from my vanity planet set and literally it's so nice to apply a bronzer like it does it really softly Every time I do my bronzer, my hair just goes hectic. But I like to do my the perimeter of like my hairline and stuff because it just creates this like shadow all around my on the peri perimeter, and then the center's brighter. And I really like that kind of look. The color of this bronzer is really good for my skin tone. For blush, I'm gonna use the pink that comes in the palette. Lightly brushed it on the cheeks. Actually really pretty. And then for highlights I'm gonna use this highlighter colour here called Yasmin. It's like a champagne colour. Highlight on. I'm 
I'm going to take my Smashbox Primal Water and spritz my whole face. And then from the palette, I'm going to take the peachy colour again, called Feeling Peachy. And I'm just going to go really close to the lash line. And I'm also going to take a bit of Targe, which I use on the top lid, on the, on the lid. Just to really like smoke out onto the eyes. I'm then going to use some of this Rimmel eyeliner in Nude, just for my waterline. And now I'm just applying some more mascara on my lower lashes. I feel like that makes a huge difference to the whole look, like just adding definition. I realised that when I don't do my lower lashes, I look so weird. I just feel like the look just looks really incomplete with me, but then some people can get away with not having anything on their lower lashes. For my lips, I'm actually going to go with this colour. This colour looks so stunning and I feel like I would actually really like this colour. Um, it's called Birthday Suit and I'm just going to take it with my finger. I'm going to take some of my MAC Cork lip pencil just to warm that up a bit look how stunning that looks I just feel like matte cork just makes any colour look so, so stunning because the colour is a bit light but I love the peachiness to it, it's like not pink. Anyways that's the finished look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's definitely something that I've never done before and I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of like a get ready for me but I'm just getting ready to film. So why not film it? Yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.